just being a unified whole where there is no separation only differentiation it is sentient define sentience for me um, the ability to sense something on the outside take what information is perceived process it internally in a complex not automatic machine-like way not like most computer algorithms but as a living dynamic thing that includes accidents Okay. Um, and then a response. So as we are talking, let's keep laying down these axioms. The first, universe is a conscious living being. Mm -hmm. The second, there's, uh, oh, and part of that, there's differentiation but no separation. Yes. Second axiom, um, there is sentience at all levels. Yes. From ultra microscopic to galactic. Yes. Um, and now, biological. Now, people will have a problem saying, well, are you telling me that rocks think? Um, are you telling me that electrons think? Um, and so when Minas and I have formulated this terminology, we've sort of separated sentience to be the biological form, because people are a little more comfortable with that. And we talk about creative interactivity at the quantum okay. scale, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's all the same thing. It's all the it's same. All the same. Third principle, mm -hmm. it's self-organizing all the way. Yes. Fourth principle, self-regulating, obviously, mm -hmm. as part yes. of the self-organization. Yes. Fifth principle, evolving, self-evolving. Yes. Uh, sixth, uh, if I may suggest, but you may not agree, a creative process. Yes? Um, I think the self-organization, self by definition, is always creative. Okay. Yeah. Now, if we believe this model that you were talking about with Minas and we've been talking about it, then where is evolution as explained by Darwin? Random mutations, natural selection. Uh, I don't think we doubt the fact of evolution, but do we need to revise the mechanisms of evolution a little bit well, in you know, view of this, biological? I, I don't think there's any realm of biology that actually isn't going to require revision. Um, and that's a very open-ended process. We know so little about biological systems, though we think we have learned tremendous amounts, but we know so little. Um, so I don't think evolution is different. Um, where I, and I haven't, I haven't worked my way through this thicket. My impulse, because I'm a university, American university trained doctor who believes in certain things and one shouldn't say other things, that evolution was blind, not guided, not, not directed. Um, I don't see any reason yet to doubt that necessarily, but there's plenty of places within the system to see how uh, specific creativity could have occurred. My difficulty with that view is that it's, often spo it's always spoken by humans, as though our presence here in particular is special and should lead us to question creativity that directed itself to our presence. And I don't see that we're any more special than some bugs or whales or dinosaurs that no longer exist. Available on CuriosityStream. Watch premium factual shows at curiositystream.com.